Hi, so today I'm gonna be making something for the very first time and I thought I'm gonna film the process just to kind of look back at it and also to share it with you guys. I'm making ash today, which is like a Iranian slash Ghani soup noodles. And I've never made them before, but my husband grew up eating it and so I want to make it for him and also I love eating it and so I want to try making it myself for the first time I'm following a recipe from YouTube so I'm gonna link that down below for you guys as well but that's what we're doing today I'm excited but I'm also scared um because I never made it before so we'll see all right so there's two parts to making ash okay we've got the meat and that's where we're also gonna put our lobia and we're gonna put our chanas. And then we have the second half, which is the soup. So that's where we're gonna cook, cook the noodles and we're gonna put like yogurt in it and all of that, right? And so how it's served is you have the soup first. I'll, I'll show you when I serve it. But you have the soup first and then you put the meat on top of it. And then when you're eating, you mix the two up, right? So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do the meat first because that's gonna take longer. And then we're gonna do the soup, okay? That is actually not bad at all. Look at that. That's actually really nicely done. Look at that. We want to use the same onions for this, but also for the soup. So I'm gonna use some of it and then leave the rest for the soup. What you need is noodle that's white in color these are also use spaghetti if you want that's fine but the original recipe has a specific kind of noodle which is what i'm using it was a little bit hard to find but that's what it looks like it looks white in color it's not it doesn't look orange which is what most of pasta looks like that's not what it looks like it looks white We just finished eating it and according to my husband it was actually really good um he said that he liked it it was really nice i was worried that i wouldn't be able to replicate it but it was actually really really nice the only thing is that i think the noodles require a little bit more water because they get thicker as they um 
like sit in the water so by the time that we ate and we finished our food and then i went back to kind of pack the rest in the fridge it was slightly more thick so i think the noodles need to have more water than what i added just because i think because of the starch it gets really, really thick otherwise so next time i that's one thing i'll have to be careful about but all in all i think it was really nice so i'm really happy about that and if you like watching me cook or like trying to figure out how to cook and talk more about like foods and stuff let me know because i actually really enjoy making food and that's one thing that i actually do quite a bit especially desi food especially like um you know pakistani food and things like that so let me know but yeah thank you for watching and i'll see you next time bye